Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to show how to use and test out and review this Black & Decker String Trimmer Edger, and the model number on this one is LSTE525. And before we begin, make sure that you read through the instruction manual and understand it completely, and make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. And if you haven't already, please watch the first video where I show how to assemble this and go through the setup process. And I'll link that video at the end of this one and in the description below. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can make some adjustments on the Black & Decker String Trimmer Edger. But before I do, you want to make sure that it's both off and that the battery's removed. This is really important. Before you make any adjustments, make sure that it's both off and that the battery is removed. And to turn the Black & Decker string trimmer edger off, all you have to do is to let go of the trigger. Okay, so the handle right here has a button right here that you can press and then you can move the handle to where you want it to be and then you let off the button and the handle will lock into place. And it does say in the instruction manual that the handle should be adjusted so that your front arm is straight when the trimmer is in working position. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to adjust the height, and there's a piece right here, and if you turn it this direction, it will lock it, and if you turn it the other direction, this direction, it will unlock it. Then we can adjust the height to where we want it to be, and then just make sure that you lock it all the way back into place. Okay, so the string trimmer edger is currently set up in trimming mode, and to switch it into edging mode, there is a flip to edge collar right here, is what they called it in the instruction manual. And you need to pull down on this, and then it allows you to rotate this 180 degrees, and then just make sure that it clips all the way back into place. So now it would be in edging mode. And then when you want to put it back into trimming mode, the same thing, we're just going to, uh, you know, move this piece down like this, rotate it 180 degrees until it snaps all the way back into place like so. Okay, and then up near the handle here, there is a speed selector. So there are two options. If you want longer run time, you would have it in option one. And if you want it to have more power, but it will consume more of the battery, so it will have a shorter run time, you would use option two. This is the easy feed button. So while you're trimming, you can press all the way down the easy feed button and then release it, and it will give you more cutting line. And it does say in the instruction manual that the trimmer will stop cutting when the easy feed button is pressed and will resume cutting when released. And to turn the Black & Decker string trimmer edger on, there are lock buttons right here on each side and you need to press one of those while squeezing the trigger. Okay, so I got both of the batteries a full charge and I'm about to install one, but before I do, I wanted to remind you to make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. Okay, so now I'm going to take the battery and line it up where it goes, and then you want to make sure that the battery snaps all the way into place, like so. And you just want to make sure that the battery is all the way secured into place. Alright guys, I have all my safety equipment on, and I'm just about ready to test this out. We're going to start out by testing this out in trimming mode.
And then when you're done, don't forget to remove the battery. All right, guys, so here's my opinion of the Black & Decker String Trimmer Edger. I thought it worked well. Um, you know, I tried using it in the Speed 1, and that didn't work well for me uh, on what I was doing, so I did have to switch to, uh, you know, number 2 here, which worked a lot better. And when I put it into edging mode, I thought that it worked really well. I was using that along the sidewalk, and I thought it did a really good job at edging. And I thought that the batteries seemed to last a long time for me. I did edging and trimming around the yard, and I did try both of the batteries out just to make sure that they were both working. And I didn't run either one of them all the way down. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video, and I hope it's been helpful, and thank you so much for watching. And I will link the other Black & Decker String Trimmer Edger video where I show the assembly and setup process at the end of this video. And if you're interested in half time, please check that video out. Thank you again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.